Hey everybody, Logan here. Today, I never thought I'd see this again. It's been decades. It really has been decades. It's been 20 years almost since I last saw GameStop put out GameStop branded controls. I'm sure they have since then, right? PS2 era? Did they put out PS3? I don't know. It's been such a while. And lo and behold, GameStop branded Bluetooth gaming controller. This is for the Nintendo Switch. It also works for Steam, the Steam Deck, sorry, and PC. I'm not going to cover it for those because it's just another controller. There's billions and billions and billions of controllers. Okay, probably not that many, but there's a lot of controllers out there for the PC, especially over the last 20, 30 years. I don't know how many you can just Google something and then or search them on Amazon. There's tons of them. But this, this is another one of those interesting designed Switch ones. And the fact that it's Switch really grabbed my attention, really made me go, hmm. Now the thing is, these are a little pricey for what I think they are. For what I think they're worth. Let's put it that way. $47.99, if I'm not mistaken, or $44.99. Uh, I had a certificate. It still cost me 40 bucks. But that's why I do these. I do these for you guys so you don't have to buy them. Supposedly, it has all the features of the Switch Pro Controller minus um, Amiibo support. We're going to open this. We're going to examine just how it looks, see if it's any decent, see if it's worth your money. I'm skeptical. Let's hit that intro and unbox this and test it out. Okay, so here we go. This is, like I said, the GameStop Bluetooth gaming controller compatible with Steam Deck, uh, Nintendo Switch, and PC. And that's because it's a Bluetooth controller. So you connect it normally just like you would connect anything to your PC via Type-C or Bluetooth if your PC has them and just run it that way. So we're not going to really cover it that way because it's, it's too simple. We're only going to cover the Switch aspect because, like I say in all my videos, where people ask, does it work for PC? If the box says it does, it does. This is a console gaming channel. And especially uh, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation uh, 5. Uh, we do cover a lot of retro stuff, but when it comes to controllers, it's a lot of the new stuff. It's mainly the new stuff. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. You guys know what to do. All right, pretty, pretty simple looking components. Ow. That cardboard keeps jabbing my fingers. That looks like a pretty short cable. Does it say how long the cable is? Three feet. Tiny little cable, so it's really just meant for charging. I would say use that in your car. <laughs> if you don't have wireless charging. All right, so first off, it's got that weird matte finish that's going to attract there's two different types of finishes the ultra glossy and the suede matte finish that definitely attracts fingerprints so that right away now it looks like it uses old xbox 360 <laughs> sticks because if you've ever seen an xbox 360 those of you old enough that's sad that i have to say that these days this is exactly what an xbox 360 stick looked like that is a weird shape. It almost feels like that's not that comfortable. Oh, it, it, it feels blocky. That ain't comfortable. Oh, the, the sticks are really loose, like loosey goosey. I like the fact that the buttons are quiet. 
So it doesn't feel terrible besides the grips. I don't like it, they're very blocky. It's rounded blocky, if that makes any sense. Like it feels blocky in the hand, but the corners and everything around it, it's, that's not really ergonomic for a grip. Um, yeah, don't, don't really like that. It's got turbo functionality, type C, like we stated. This feels like one of those cheap Amazon controllers made in China that you would get on Wish or whatever they are for like eight bucks. So I feel like I'm super ripped off. And why is the stick so far to the left? This one's a little, no, that one looks okay. It's a little far to the left. That one's really far to the left. Because normally your finger would be sitting like this, but it's over here. That's really, really far to the left. That's kind of weird. Yeah, let me grab. Yeah, see? If you're comparing it to, like, the 8-bit do I just turned on my Xbox without even touching anything. Um, yeah, and those are stick extenders. I really like those things. So, yeah. Yeah. Oof. So there's a reset button right there. So if you have any issues, you can just manually with a pin. This is a no frills control. For that price, I'm already looking at spend the money on a Power A. But let's take a look at the box. The box says six axis motion sensor, turbo function, dual motor vibration feedback, wireless and wired connection. High sensitivity joysticks. That's not always a good thing. Alrighty. Let us pull this into frame. So it does have a charge. Let's turn up the volume a little bit. Um, whoops. Alrighty. We are going to try this like we normally would right out of the box. And if it doesn't sync, we'll look at the instructions because what's not what's missing here? What's missing? A sync button. For that a sync button, I have to go directly to this. Um Bluetooth pairing, controller, using the controller wired, recalibrating, pairing to switch. Here we go. From the home screen, go to the system, da, da, da. Hold Y and home on the controller to enter pairing. The LED will race. All right. So Y and home. There we go. Okay, it took a little while, but it recognizes it. Let's see if you can see that a little better. It recognizes it as a pro controller. All right. Let's see if we can get a little better. Whoops. Let's see how this feels. The best version of the Turtles, by the way. This in the OG movie. It's back to three. I love this game. It's probably one of the best beat-em-ups. We're going through a beat-em-ups renaissance now, it feels. But that's always a good thing. Alrighty. Right, 
So the buttons are a little clackier than I expected after just testing it out right away. You hear it. There's no input delay on the on the sticks. That I was expecting. All right, with that being said, let's go home. Let's see if I have anything else installed uh, that might use a bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna try uh, F0X to get a little more. I thought I had a first person shooter installed on my OLED, but apparently I don't. So we're gonna try a racing game because it tends to use the, the triggers as well, where the Turtles game didn't as much. So we're just going to jump into this. Falcon Punch! Okay. Of course, I picked the one racing game that uses the... Okay, there we go. It feels weird. Sticks are really responsive. Rumble's really nice, I'll tell you that. Okay, so with that being said, I think it's an okay controller. I like the rumble. I'm not a big fan of the texture because it's going to attract fingerprints. The stick is a little far to the left. The buttons feel a little cheap. I don't think $45 for this controller is the right price. This should be a $30 35 at most controller. Uh, D-pad's not bad. That's one of my big things. I like a solid D-pad. That's a good D-pad. The sticks are responsive. It still it still feels very 360, like I said. Uh, the triggers are fine. Everything is fine. It just feels a little cheap. I don't like the the grips. They're not really that comfortable. But overall, it's not a terrible controller. I think if this was 30, 35. It'd be a solid pickup, but without uh, NFC, so it does not support Amiibo, why would you get this when there are other ones out there for around the same price or just a couple bucks more that will also support Amiibo? With that being said, I think this is a solid pickup. Uh, the price is a little high. It's not terrible. It's not great. If you can get it for less, it wouldn't be a bad controller to pick up. If you are in the market for one like this, that is multi-platform in terms of PC and Switch, and you want to use it with your Steam Deck, and you don't mind the GameStop branding, it's all right. It's just the price that is a massive hindrance. I think uh, anything above $40 is too much for this controller. $35, I think, would be spot on. That's how I feel about this controller. Some might say yay, some might say nay. I feel like this should be a $35 controller or less. $30 would be nice. But a lot of wired controllers these days are coming out around that price. So maybe, you know, maybe I'm just old. I don't know. But with the lack of uh, NFC, I really think that it's a, a little overpriced. And the build quality. Yeah. I think I'm going to leave that there. Hopefully this guy's... Hopefully this... Hopefully this helps you guys out. And if you're looking at getting this controller, maybe this will change your mind or solidify your purchase. Who knows? But, hey, remember, they have those points that you can accrue if you're one of their, what do you call them, pro members and you have coupons and stuff like that. Put it towards this... Yeah, but then you could also put it towards a better controller and bring that down. 50-50. Mm. All right. Hopefully this helped you out in any kind of way. 
Hopefully it didn't confuse you anymore. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to drop the, uh, them down in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.